give it to you. I gotta 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 Hi guys, it's Dominique coming at you with a cool video series showing how I achieve and maintain healthy hair. And so I'm, what I'm going to be doing is doing a step-by-step -step process or video series of my um, cleansing regimen or of my regimen. So today I'm going to be doing pre-pooing. If you're unfamiliar with what pre-pooing is or kind of unfamiliar with what the benefits are, let me just tell you right quick. When you pre-poo, you're actually prepping the hair um, to lessen the harshness of using a shampoo because we all know shampoos are great at cleansing. They're formulated at higher pHs, which is helpful for cleansing, but when they cleanse, they take a lot of our natural oils. So pre-pooing helps with the detangling. It helps with the main retaining moisture, it helps prevent the hair from swelling, and it helps the hair um, to hold on to more conditioner um, when you rinse it, okay? So guys, as you can see, I've already done pretty much three-fourths of my hair. I only left this section so I can show you really quickly what I do. I'm going to wet my hair using my Natty ACB Hair and Scalp Mist, guys. So I'm going to use this to dampen my hair. Once the hair is nice and damp, I'm going to apply my conditioner. Now, you can use extra virgin coconut oil, guys. This is one of the best oils to use for pre-pooing simply because it has the capability of penetrating the hair, sh the hair shaft. So you want to use either extra virgin coconut oil um, or you can use a conditioner that contains oils in them. Okay, I'm using my Natty Moist conditioner. As my pre poo in the orange bergamot, which smells so lovely. And guys, you don't want to be skimpy on the product. You really want to load this rascal on, okay? You want to really load it on. I mean, you want to put so much on, it's almost offensive. <laughs> so let me just answer the question of why can't, oh, hey, why can I use another oil to pre poo? You can use any oil you choose. The reason why I mentioned extra virgin coconut oil is because it can penetrate the hair shaft. Using other oils, the molecules are too large to penetrate the hair shaft, so instead of penetrating, they will actually just sit on top, okay? We want the hair to actually hold in moisture. And then what I do, guys, is just simply finger detangle through. And that's why I say you really got to slather it on. When you're working with natural hair, because we have all the nice coils and curls and bends, okay, our hair just, it's not one of those where you can just run your fingers through it, okay? You got to lather on something to help <laughs> with the detangling, and you don't want to, and you, and you want to lessen the effects of breakage. So I really lather that through, and what this does, guys, is help me get rid of a lot of shed hair. Hair is going to shed, guys. Don't get paranoid or freak out about shed hair. Hair usually sheds between 75 to 150 hairs per day. Okay, so if you're like me and you only really detangle once a week, you should look like a St. Bernard at the end of it. You should have quite a few um, detangle <laughs> shed hairs. And the way you can determine if it's shed hair, it'll have a little white tip at the end known as a bulb. Okay? So as you can see, I mean, I really worked it through. Let me come in for you guys. See, I get all that shed hair. Voila. Shed hair, go away. And I mean, I really work it through so all of my strands can feel the benefit of the conditioner. So your hair should feel nice and weighty and yummy. And I'm just running my fingers through. And the reason why I use my fingers is because my fingers can catch a knot quicker than a comb can. They're a lot less... <laughs> 
damaging or they're a lot more forgiving. I can kind of work my way through a knot versus a comb. You just kind of, you know, snatch it through my fingers. I can just kind of work it through. See, I just easily work that through. Then once you feel like you've um, detangled quite a bit, what you want to do, put your hair back in its nice little, you can twist it too. Pin it up. And then what I'm going to do is put a bag over my head, <laughs> okay, and I'm going to leave this pre-poo on for in between 30 minutes to an hour. Then I'm going to rinse it out and prep my hair for shampooing, guys. So I will see you in a minute um, once I rinse this out and get ready to shampoo my hair and show you what I do for that, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in a moment. <laughs> 